feel like preseason has gone well for us. We've uh, been working hard. The girls have been enthusiastic and really, um, like I said, getting after it in the weight room and um, conditioning, and they've been working hard with their individuals. Um, so I feel like September was a really good month for us, and then so far practice has gone well. They've, they've gone out here really ready to learn and get better, so we're definitely a work in progress with seven new faces, but I feel like they're working hard and, and getting the job done. Uh, so far, preseason's gone pretty well. Um, I think that we killed conditioning, just coming in with a brand new trainer and seven new players. We really stepped on it and we crushed conditioning. We had fun with it and that was really nice. And then our chemistry and team bonding went very well also in conditioning. I think preseason conditioning went really well. Everyone came in in really good shape um, and we killed it overall. Um, we. Since we have so many new people, it's been a lot of learning, but I think we've definitely progressed and I'm really excited to um, move on and start playing. Sure, I think uh, we're ready. I think they're tired of beating each other up, so ready to, to go in and play somebody else and, and see how we do. I think, uh, like I said, a lot of new faces, so we're um, excited to see how we mesh on the court and you know, we throw the ball up for real, how, how we look, so they're excited. Yeah, great question. We definitely lose um, some huge players for us with Jolice and Laura both, both graduating um, to All-Americans. So big shoes to fill, I think, um, fill them by committee. We're not going to have um, two players that come in with the same type of production that those two had right away. I think we have some great new players coming into a good returning mix and uh, you know, just need everybody to step up a little and, and do a little bit more than they did last year and our new players to come in and fill some gaps for us with, with rebounding. Obviously, Lo is a huge rebounder and so Need to, need to get that uh, taken care of. With, and we have some good size. I think we added some, some nice pieces. So looking for everybody to come in and, and just do their part. Sure, well, our team captains this year are Vanessa D'Amico, uh, definitely a you know, four-year senior for us, um, one of the best shooters we've ever had in the program. So really looking for her to have a great senior year. Um, she worked hard in the offseason, um, really developed, developed her game. So she's not just a shooter. You know, she can take it to the basket as well. And, um, so we're looking for big things from her. Um, Aaliyah Sowers is another one. I feel like um, we're really looking for her to have a, a great junior season. Um, worked hard in the off season and got after it. So I think uh, we're, we're looking for big things from her too. Yeah, um, GSAC is a great conference conference of uh, champions. You know, that definitely had some national champions come out of that conference. So we're really excited about the challenge. I mean, night in, night out, they're going to be a great competition. Um, we're going to have to bring our A game. So. That's exciting for us, you know, to play ranked opponents on a, on a weekly basis is, is going to be a really good challenge and something that, um, you know, we're geared up for and excited about. I'm just excited to have um, a new competition. I felt like in the Cal Pack we became really complacent the last year, so I'm excited to play new teams, have new competition, and hopefully be just as successful. Sure. Uh, first is Erica Garcia, and Erica played here for two years um, for me, and so really excited about her coming back. Um, she's been at Irvine Valley College for the last three years, being an assistant down there, um, and got some great experience, and um, has really good knowledge of the game and good knowledge of Menlo, and so we're excited about her, her being here and, and bringing those things to the team. And the other addition is John Filonis. Um, he uh, played locally here at Cal State East Bay. Um, it was actually Cal State Hayward when he played there. Does a lot of uh, training, personal training with players in the area, developing them basketball-wise. Um, he's actually worked with a few of our girls in the off-season, so that's how I found out about John. Um, I feel like he's going to be a great addition. He's got um, great post work skills and he's been working with our post players, so excited about what he can bring to the table with our posts and, and really developing them. I think that the returners have done a really good job at stepping up and leading the newcomers. It's really hard to lose those seven faces, especially they were very good players. But I think as a whole, team chemistry has gone very well. Um, we all mesh really well together and we all like each other, so that's nice. And I noticed that our team bonding is uh, more continuous than it has been in the past years, so that's nice. And I'll say for um, Vanessa and I as team captains, we've really stepped into our leadership roles. We talk more, um, we teach more, we coach more, and that's really awesome to see from both.